Well, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. The Cheaty Box. Woo! All right, guys. So this just came in. I'm going to do basically an unboxing video. There's quite a few more accessories than I anticipated receiving this. Also, I'm new to YouTube, but not new to 3D printing. I 3D print daily for my business. I've been 3D printing for about 15 years, with, and I have all different brands of printers. So I'm going to be doing some more videos in the future. But today we're checking out the Kitty Box. I'm giving you an overall unboxing, look at the accessories, look at the instructions, and just going over, trying to let you guys touch, feel it, and see what it's all about. Because I know, just like y'all, we've been waiting so long for this. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. So this is the unit. First off, I noticed it was a little more compact than the other multicolored units. It's only 14 inches wide by 12 inches deep. The build quality seems really nice. It does have a sliding locking front latch for the plastic tinted lid. I was real happy to see quality rubber seals all around the lid. So that way we can keep the humidity out, which is the whole point of having a heated box. I wish all companies would do that, and it seems like they're starting to, so good job on that. You also have two desiccant pouches in the back with little holders. They also give you two extra pouches, too, for future use. You can see here it says do not place desiccant. These are just heats for the heated chamber for the filament dryer. So the unit feels pretty good. The back has plastic rollers. But I did notice that the rollers and the bearings are very smooth with little to absolutely no play or slop. So even though they're plastic, they feel like really good quality and not all loose and wonky like some of the others I've seen where I've actually just changed the bearings out myself or made new ones. So that's nice. You have stainless steel, looks like stainless steel grommets for the filament feeders here and they're beveled nice and smooth. And on each one you have a LED indicator light for each of the four filaments. Down here on the motor turning mechanism, you have like grip tape, almost like skateboard grip tape on here. We'll see how well that works gripping the plastic spools. But so far looks good. Again, the motion and the bearings and everything seem really smooth and solid, nothing loose and clanky. So, so far it looks like great quality. I'm real excited to get this thing hooked up and actually try it out. So there's a few things that we're going to go through. They did send some accessories that you kind of have to retrofit the plus four with. So but let me go ahead and flip this thing around and we'll take a look at the back of this unit. All right. Nice looking little unit. Here is the back. You can see on the bottom left, we have our eight pin and four pin connectors. For the plus four, we have our four filament output tubes for your PTFEs. This unit actually has an internal power supply. As you can see, it just uses a power cord, not an external hanging brick like the bamboo unit does. And the rocker switch is just right above that for the on off. And this is just a large rubber grommet and it's just open, it looks like. So most likely to just let excess humidity out if you're drying really wet filament. Just don't forget to close that back up when you're done. So let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories and a quick look at the instructions on what they sent. So we get a power cable. We got our two data cables to connect to the plus four, two extra desiccant packs. We got some PTFE tube clips. We have a new nozzle wiper, a bunch of PTFE tube, and they also give you PTFE tube that's specially labeled for the extruder. So I'm not sure if it's uh especially for the new extruder, but they do give you a whole new extruder that it says you need to change out for multicolor. So there is that. I'm not sure what the difference is. I had just got this and wanted to open it. I was pretty excited to finally get it. And then here you have the USB adapter for the heaty box. So this is where your data connections go in. They made it plug right into the USB port on the plus four. So your two, two cables would go here into the kitty box. And then we were all curious on if it was going to have that five or six inch straight out to the side connector. And it does not. This was their solution that they sent. And honestly, it's not too bad. 
So it mounts like this if this was the back of the plus four you were looking at. So you're going to have a slight bend coming out the plus four into that single, which is not too bad. And then you have your four out going into the kitty box. And as you can see, here's a better look. See, you just still have a slight bend, but it's a lot better than that four or five inch thing sticking straight out to the left that they've had in the pre-production pictures. So I'm pretty happy with that. That's not too bad at all. So I think that was a great idea. So there's kind of the rundown on this. And I will be doing more videos when I get it all hooked up. There's special firmware that you have to download also. So a few things to change. Nothing major. The extruder probably being the hardest to change out. Still not that bad. But the hub and all that is pretty easy, pretty straightforward. But so far it's looking pretty good. I wasn't sure what to expect. We've all been waiting so long. Here's that PTFE tube that's labeled for the... Um, tool head hot end extruder so i'm not sure if it's something different but we're just going to go ahead and throw that on when we install it just to be sure so this is it guys stay tuned for some more videos on the kitty box and also i'm going to go ahead and do videos i have about 15 other 3d printers bamboo x max any cubic s1 so i'm going to be throwing some more videos out there just for fun so hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you back soon when we get this thing up and running and do another video on it. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think.